Hello friends, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel again. On this video I'm going to show you how I make my pico de gallo, or my fresh salsa, whatever you want to call it. I have all the ingredients right here, pretty much on the plate, and all I have to do is throw them in this chopper, whiz them up, and it's done. Super simple. Um, I love this chopper. This is a ninja chopper. I got it about 10 years ago back when we first moved here and I didn't have a food processor, I didn't have a blender, and I wanted to make fresh cranberry relish for our first Thanksgiving here. And this was the cheapest little chopper that I could find and I just love it. It's still, the blades are still sharp, it still runs really well, everything, I love it. I make my guacamole in here, I make my pico in here. Um, if I need just a few chopped vegetables, they go in here instead of the big food processor. Here I have, and I'm making mine hot today, so here I have a lemon drop pepper. I grow these every year and they're wonderful because we love hot stuff. I pickle these, they go in salsa, they go in taco filling, they go in chili. Um, anything that I want to be spicy, they'll go into a hash. They are super spicy. They have a little bit of a lemon flavor, but they're hot. They're a little bit hotter than a jalapeno, which I have right here too. My husband loves hot, hot, hot stuff, so we're gonna throw both in. I have a big giant, giant fat garlic clove. We're going to throw that in and I'm going to put the onions in first. I'm going to pop the top on here. Just a few quick pulses to get it going. Do the harder vegetables first. Ooh, that's going to be hot. I can smell those hot peppers already. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Probably about that much. I'm going to add some lime juice. Now I'm using bottled lime juice because I thought I bought limes and I didn't. So I'm just going to use this in a pinch. Just a few little squirts. And now the cilantro will go in. And I want to get this chopped up a little bit before I do the tomatoes. And I use stems on this. I leave stems. The stems taste just as good as the leaves on cilantro, so don't throw those stems away. You can use those in your pico or salsa. Got that going, and now I'm going to throw in my tomatoes. One of these are local tomatoes from the farmer's market and the other was I bought from the store. I like Roma tomatoes the best because they are not as watery. This chopper's small and I clearly have ambitious goals for a big giant batch of Pico, so I'm having to do this a little bit at a time. Just a few more tomatoes. See if I can get all these in. Whatever I don't put in will go into the taco filling because we're having tacos tonight. We've been on vacation and haven't had tacos in a very long time and we're both craving. There we go. Beautiful pico. Give it a quick taste. It's really hot. If you don't like hot, you can leave out the jalapeno and the hot peppers. My husband's going to adore this. He's going to love it. All right, there you go. That simple. Chop up some veggies, throw them in a chopper or food processor, and you've got homemade pico or salsa, and you can put this on tacos. You can put this on eggs. It'll keep for a few days in the refrigerator, and it has no sugar, no preservatives, nothing artificial in here. Just real food. It's real good. Give it a try. I'll link my recipe down below so you can get the measurements. But feel free to adjust those around to your liking. I like lots of cilantro and obviously we like the hot stuff. So be sure to click on subscribe and give my video a thumbs up if you like it. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.